Lost somewhere in the universe is a small blue planet, the third in order from a star called the Sun, one of the billions of stars in the spiral galaxy, the Milky Way. But where is the Milky Way located in the universe? A team of scientists has collected data on more than 8,000 galaxies in the outer space that surrounds us. They have mapped the positions and speeds of the galaxies and for the first time in history we saw that the Milky Way is part of a much larger system of galaxies, a supercluster which they called Laniakea. Our galaxy is located in the outer reaches of this cluster. The entire universe is a sinuous network of galaxies, something like a cosmic spider web. Some regions are almost empty and look like dark cosmic voids, while others, on the contrary, are densely populated by galaxies in areas that are called superclusters, and these are perhaps the largest structures in the universe that we know. But here's the question. Think for a moment. Where are we really heading at a speed of 2.2 million kilometers per hour? Precisely the speed at which the Milky Way is moving in outer space. What is pulling us? If you have a ticket, then where it's marked destination, you'll read the name The Great Attractor. Our galaxy, just like neighboring ones, is attracted toward a specific region of space and it's about 150 million light years away. And here's the surprise, we don't know exactly what's there. However, the name of this mysterious anomaly has already been thought up, which is a great way off our shoulders. Yes, we are talking about the Great Attractor. In part, it's so mysterious because it's located in a region of the heavens called the Zone of Avoidance, which is situated toward the center of our galaxy. There is so much gas and dust there that you can't see very well or far in the visible light spectrum. The solution to the problem was the study of the clusters in the zone of avoidance. To study the hard-to-reach regions, X-ray radiation was used, which easily penetrates clouds of gas and dust. Clusters of galaxies are sources of X-rays, which makes observation and study easier. In fact, the zone of avoidance is currently quite well researched. Galactic gas and dust are also penetrated well by radio waves as well as light in the infrared range. According to the findings of the study, fewer massive galactic clusters were found in the area of the proposed location of the Great Attractor than had been expected. However, a gravitational anomaly near the center of the Great Attractor, the Abel 3627 cluster, was strong enough to tear apart the spiral galaxy ES-0137-001, or, as it is also known, the Jellyfish Galaxy, in the constellation of Triangulum Australi, or the Southern Triangle. As well, while researching the zone of avoidance in greater detail, it turned out that at the location of the Great Attractor, there is a large supercluster of galaxies called the Norma Cluster, its mass is about 1,000 trillion times the mass of the Sun. It consists of thousands of galaxies. And although the Norma Cluster is massive, and the local group's galaxies are attracted to it, it is impossible for them to fully explain the movement of the local group's galaxies, as the mass of the Great Attractor is not enough to generate such attraction. A study was conducted which made it possible to calculate that the Great Attractor contributes only 44% of the speed of the movement of the local group, with the rest being associated with the dark flow, where a significant region of the local universe, including even the Great Attractor itself, is moving in the direction of another object. Continuing the research, astronomers at the University of Hawaii have discovered an even more massive cluster of galaxies at a distance of more than 600 million light-years from the Milky Way, far beyond the Great Attractor. This refers to the Shapely Supercluster, in which there are more than 8,000 galaxies, and it has a mass of more than 10 million billion suns, which is 10 times greater than the Norma Cluster in the region of the Great Attractor. Out of the 220 known superclusters of galaxies in the observable universe, the Shapely supercluster is the most massive. 
and most likely haven't reached the region of the Great Attractor, the Milky Way as a part of the complete local group will continue moving on further to the larger object, namely the Shapely Supercluster. As usual, the logical questions then arise, what will happen to the Earth? What awaits humanity? In actual fact, no one really knows what this could mean or even if our planet is in danger. Astronomers say they will need a few additional years to learn more about this anomaly. Some specialists do not consider it a threat, while others insist that all galaxies and clusters will merge into larger and even larger superclusters, and that's how the universe will come to its logical end, the Big Crunch, which theoretically may well result following the expansion after the Big Bang. By and large, we have been able to distinguish that the Great Attractor is a gravitational anomaly located in intergalactic space. In fact, it is a collection of many galaxies formed and hidden away far off in the distance. And a large mass, consequently, causes the stronger attraction of other objects to include you and I. What do you think of the Great Attractor? And what sort of hopes do you have that we will discover something new in this region of space into which our little blue planet is moving so swiftly?